Welcome back to the Hoosier Squad. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're finally going to finish the budget build mini bike. Uh, either in, we'll either finish it in this video and run it in this video, or we'll just like get right to finishing it and then run it in the next video. Um, but we have these stuff for the rear axle. I went out and I bought the bolt that I needed for it. Um, so this is probably another, I don't know, dollar to add on. And then I bought the chain which was around 16 bucks, and then a pack of zip ties just to tie everything up around another dollar. So that's where we're hitting to, and then tires for this cost about 30 bucks a piece. So we're going to tack $60, $60 on once that's done. Um, all there. But uh, let's go ahead and get the mini bike over here right in front, and then we will get to putting the rear wheel right here on it. There it is. We're going to go ahead and get the rear wheel on it and the front wheel on it as well. So let's get right to it and then we will fit the chain. So basically, um, give me a second to uh, loosen the rods on the sand. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the rear tire. I'm just sitting right back here. And then we're gonna just pull the mini bike up a little bit. And we're gonna try and do this first. We're just gonna kind of try and guide the brake system all together. I might have to loosen the bolt and let the brake system open up all the way, which it looks like that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to grab my wrench real quick because I want to do that. And then basically we'll just slide the bolt through and then that rear axle will be mounted. So let's do that real quick. Right now all we got to do is just tighten the bolt down, but that's pretty well the rear axle mounted. So we're going to go ahead and just take the camera. I'm going to move you guys over here to the front axle. And this one should be a little easier to get on. Um, the advantage it has over the rear axle is just that uh, it's an easier mounting process. So this one has what's called a castle nut. Um, that basically just means that uh, I have a bolt that it has on it. Um, you can run a rod through it. And then you twist that rod and it breaks apart and then it holds the bolt. So you have to get some collars cut for this because uh, the front tire is a little small. So you want to make sure you have a equal and tight fit um, as far as the front end of the bike goes. There's a quick little editor's note on that. Um, you want to make sure that the ball bearing is tight, but you don't want it to be squeezing. You don't want you want to make sure the axle is tight, but you don't want it to be squeezing the ball bearing. So make sure it's tight enough to where the um, axle is going to shake around, but you also don't want it putting a lot of pressure on that ball bearing. A tight fit. Um, as far as the front end of the bike goes, so I'm going to go ahead and cut those real quick. I'll probably set you guys up on the table um, where I'm going to cut. There we go. There's our car. Now we'll go ahead and mount the front tire on the mini bike. So I got it right here in my hand. Go ahead and just put it down there. All right, and just like that, the tire is partially mounted on. We'll go ahead and we will get that. All right, I got the collar made. It's now on. So we are going to go ahead and just tighten this bolt down. And as well as the bolt on the rear tire. So I'm going to tighten both of them down and then we'll get to chain sizing. Now we're going to get on to sizing the chain. So the first thing you want to do is have both your sprocket or torque converter, whatever you're running on your mini bike. piece in there see it right there you want to make sure you have that lined up with your key on your motor so we got to put ours at an angle like this 
you know, you will have to fidget it around a little bit to get it actually on there well. And it looks like we're going to actually flip it the other way. And that's completely fine. You can run these either way. They work in either direction. Now, I actually see more people run them like this with the uh, gear face on the inside. I think some people also run them the other way. But uh, this is what I see the most, so that's what we're going to go with. And then there will be... You're going to want a set bolt right here. I don't have one right now, unfortunately. But uh, you're going to want to put a set bolt in. But there are two locking screws on these. And you see there's a locking screw right there. And if we turn it... Well, I'm going to grab the pull cord. Over until you see the other way. And right there, there's the other one. You're gonna have two little screws that go into each of those holes, and those are pretty well gonna lock it in place. Still put a backing bolt on um, just for security reasons. If these screws come undone, you don't want your clutch flying off and it hitting your leg and ripping you apart. But um, we would be protected either way because we will be putting this on. This is an old. Uh, Sorry about that. This is an old a this is a old uh, belt guard for a tiller, but it'll work just as well for a chain. So this is gonna come in right here and just sit over top of everything, kind of keep it safe and keep our legs away from the chain and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and size the chain up and maybe even try and get the guard on. I don't know if I have the stuff for that yet though. We'll get to it. Very sorry for the abrupt ending of this video. Um, I just didn't have the uh, chain at the shop yet so in the next video i do have it and i do size it and get it uh, measured and put on the mini bike and in the video after that we will um probably be running it um so but there will be a video soon of it running and driving um, i actually did ride it just a couple of days ago so it does work now so um just be excited for that video in the future um but until then be sure to um like and subscribe to the channel so you get a notification when that video comes out um so that you make sure you can get that notification, go ahead and, and hit the post, post notification so you know anytime I upload a new video to the channel. And until the next time, stay safe and remember, who's your squad?